No alarms. Alarms give me anxiety. What's up, Packers? It's Goalie Flux, and today's video is all about end of school year DIYs. I love school, you know, knowledge is power, but sometimes my knowledge and my brain are so done. No more projects that are for no reason. Like I already know about Romeo and Juliet, but you have to write a love poem in summer. You do the projects you want to do. My DIYs. Let's hack your world. <laughs> For our first DIY, we have the citrus folder clutch. This was supposed to be a watermelon, but um, my English folder wasn't uh, pink, so I just went with orange. It was literally a folder that I put my homework in, but I was like, so long, school. So long, homework. Hi, citrus. Hi, summer. You know, the weird orange slice makes you think of summer, right? You can take it to your summer school classes to remind you that it's summer, because like you gotta get all your classes out of the way. You can put your sunglasses in here, take it to the beach so no sand will get in it because it's a zipper. This is like for summer school. And then this could be for summer school. I, mean, I don't think she'll fit. She'll fit. Oh, and we need a frog and you're set for summer. For this DIY, you'll need a plastic zip folder, stapler, sponge, hot glue, green felt, and a white t-shirt. Trace and cut half a circle onto the folder. Cut out a half circle the same size, but this time on paper. Fold it and cut out a rounded triangle. Staple the edges together and tape them in place so it looks like an orange slice. Using a sponge, apply two coats of nail polish to the folder. Once they're dry, remove the paper. Cut slices of the t-shirt two to three inches wide, and then stretch it out to create a rolled edge. Hot glue around the stapled edge. Now cut slices of felt three quarters of an inch wide. Hot glue around the t-shirt edge to create a peel. You have the freshest clutch to ever carry around with you. It's freshly squeezed. It's actually not freshly squeezed. It's actually like perfectly fine. Seriously, it's an orange peel. If I was on TMZ, like, what is Goldie wearing? Is it Gucci? Is it Fendi? No, it's citrus. I'm gonna start a whole clothing brand and it's like citrus. I love that. That's such a like high fashion name. And for our next hack, we have secret message glasses. I love playing tricks on the mind with like our eyes. If you think about it, our eyes are crazy and they're weird. They play so many tricks on us every single day. So basically, how this is practical is say if you're in like summer camp or summer school and you made a new friend and you're like, I have to talk to them, but they're on the other side of the room. If you want to write like a top secret message, getting the note through everybody, you already know that they're going to be like snooping at your note and you can't have people being all snitchy. You have to teach them how to make this. Send them my video. Then you write the message, fold it up, hand it to one of your friends. They just have to have one of these pre-made in their backpack. And she's going to be like, And then when your teacher is like, what is that? Read to the class. You're like, uh, I can't read it. It scribbles. And then they can't like call you out on it. And your camp counselor is not gonna like get mad at you because she's gonna think you have like anger issues. <laughs> For this DIY, you'll need a pair of glasses, red acetate, hot glue, blue colored pencil, yellow highlighter, and a red ballpoint pen. First, trace the acetate to fit your frames. Now, hot glue your frames and let it cool. Now, all you want to do is take a blue pencil, like so, write a secret message. Is this one, I already did this one, but this one, okay? You don't want people to see that. I mean, actually I do, but like, let's pretend. Now, you want to get a red pen and you just scribble on top of that to try to conceal the message as much as possible. This is a beautiful noise. Take a highlighter, which is normally for making things apparent, but you're gonna use it against this purpose today. You're just gonna scribble it up like you're highlighting it. So now, you can't read what it is. It's, it looks like 
you got really upset. The red plays with your eyes, so it makes you see the world through a different perspective. This is really weird. Try doing this at home. It messes with your eyes. Kind of like it though. And for our last hack, guys, I got you. I've been wearing it the entire video. Silk screen t-shirts. You probably thought I got this at Target. I got a little carried away. Yes, I made three different colors, same design. I'm one of those people where I find something I like and then I get it every single color because like, I don't want to give up on the idea that I love it. So if one t-shirt goes bad, they're like, okay, then I have another one. But the cool thing about these is silk screening is like how they make professional t-shirts, but they obviously do it in like mass factories. Machines make it, but this is handmade by love. And you could like do whatever design you want. Father's Day, like I heart dad, you know? And you guys already know the collab with my froggy stuff. We're doing the Rube Goldberg. But basically this is gonna be in it. They are gonna make mini doll sized t-shirts. It's gonna be so freaking cute. But how are they gonna actually make the little stamper? Cause that's like real small. I wanna see them struggle cause they're really good at everything. I'm kidding, that's so mean. I love you guys. I know what you're thinking. A shirt and a Rube Goldberg, that's not a thing. I'll make it a thing. For this DIY, you'll need a t-shirt, canvas frame or stretcher bars, staple gun, a paintbrush, screen printing fabric, ink, the drawing fluid, and a squeegee. What do we get love squeegee? First, assemble the stretcher bars and staple everything. Now cut the silk and stretch around the frame, securing with staples. Trim the excess silk. Draw your image with a Sharpie and place on the silk to trace. Paint any negative space with the drawing fluid. Add coats until you can't see the fluid when you hold it up to the light. Let it dry. Place the cardboard inside the shirt so the ink doesn't soak through. And now, place the silk screen where you want the image. Run across it with ink a few times and gently lift to see your image. Rinse it immediately and let it dry. Now you can make the same print in different colors and create your customized t-shirt line. Citrus. This one was definitely my first one. <laughs> she's a little messy. It looks like a little bit of a bloodbath, but it's okay. She's beautiful because she's red. Then we have the blue V-neck because blue is so summer. And I'm starting a clothing brand as we already talked about. Citrus. You know, merch. I'm kidding. <laughs> what if this was like just my secret way of just saying like, guys, I have merch. I remember when I first saw silk screening, it was like at San Francisco and you walk in, there's like a whole side of this like t-shirt style. It's like V-neck, crew neck. And then this side is like the cool designs. And then you pick a shirt, pick a design, and then they, they make it in front of your eyes. Like they stamp it. And I was like, whoa, I could so DIY that. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite DIY was. Mine was the citrus pouch. And I'm so ready to love her and use her this entire summer. Also, subscribe for more DIYs every Friday if you want to be part of the Golden Squad. If you want to be part of the early squad, turn on that notification bell because you get notified every time I post. And the weekly Goldie Squad shout out goes to Zierra Janelle. She said Goldtastico, like Goldie plus fantastic. I love it. And guys, just remember, stay positive. School's out, man. Even if you have summer school, at least there's summer in the name. Goldie Blocks signing off. <laughs>